I'm about to do a whole program for nothing. Come on. What's up everybody? It's your girl Tanya. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time watching, hello, hello. My name is Tanya. I'm a single mommy in nursing school and I make videos revolving those topics. And if you've been here before, mwah, Thank you so much, my love. I am so sorry that I haven't been uploading and I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys. I've been getting so many new subscribers and it makes me so happy. Every time I see a new subscriber, I'm like, oh my God. I just want to tell you guys that I appreciate you guys so, so much for tuning into my channel. I appreciate you guys for watching, for even just taking the time to write me a comment. It means so much to me. Um, I just finished up a, another semester of nursing school, so I'm on like a week break. So I really wanted to take this chance to make a video for you guys. And this video I've been wanting to make for such a long time because I get a lot of questions on the different types of accreditations. And I also get a lot of questions about the program that I'm going to because I'm going to a private nursing school program that's online and you guys have a ton of questions. It's called Nightingale College. You guys have sent me so many questions and I promise I'm going to respond to you. Um, actually tonight I plan on sitting down and responding to everybody's questions about Nightingale. And a lot of people bring up the accreditation and a lot of people are concerned about accreditation, which is great. I feel like that's like the number one thing before anything else is, is you should do your research on the, on the school that you're going to to make sure that it is accredited. Right. I'm going to talk about the different types of accreditations to kind of like just clear up and explain to you guys how it works because I did a ton of research on this when I first started going to nursing school because I really wanted to understand where the hell is my degree coming from? Like, where can I take my degree? What is it covered under? Like, I, girl, I made sure that my, the master was accredited because I'm not about to do a whole program for nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump into the video. So if you wanna learn more about nursing accreditation, just go ahead and keep on watching, girlfriend. Okay, so I'm gonna try to explain this as easy as I can. It's kind of complicated, but I hope I can break it down for you guys. First off, I'm just talking about nursing schools. I don't know how like medical school works. I don't know how law school works. I don't know how x-ray people, I don't know about none of that. I just know about nursing schools. So, um, you know, if you guys don't, aren't familiar with this, it's probably because you're in a whole nother program. I don't know, but this is what I know about nursing programs. So how it works is there's three different things that it, that a school can be. So um, the three main ones are national accreditation, regional accreditation, and then there's also like specialized accreditation for like certain specific academic programs. But that one, let's just leave that one out. Um, the two main ones that I'm going to focus on is national and regional. So those are the two things that your school can be. So regional regional accreditation is the most common one that you'll find so like regional accreditation will be like if you went to community college that's regionally accredited if you went to your local university that's regionally accredited regionally accredited is usually going to be like the big schools that are that are not for profit so i live in las vegas so like our schools that are here in vegas are uh, csn that one's a community college it's not for profit and UNLV is obviously not for profit and then Nevada State College and then um, I think those are the only three because I think everything else out here in Vegas is is a for profit school um, so yeah regional accreditation is going to be the bigger schools that are not for profit the ones that are not private schools the ones that are getting funded um, by the government to to have programs and things like that so regional is good because you can transfer credits very easily. So if you like, say for instance, if you go to uh, C CSN, you can transfer those credits anywhere. Like you can go to CSN and UNLV and um, everywhere. Even if you probably move out of state, you could probably transfer those credits too. Like it's easily transferable because they're all kind of like connected. So that's regional credit. So regional accreditation is actually like superior. 
because Harvard is regionally accredited, apparently. Um, so yeah, one of the, the most prestigious schools are usually regionally accredited, but that doesn't mean that other schools are not accredited. It's just a different type of accreditation. So that's the first one. The second one is national accreditation. So national accreditation is mostly found in for-profit schools. So like private schools, like private nursing programs, any type of private school is probably most likely going to be nationally accredited. So nationally accredited is also good, but it's not the same as regional in the way that you can't transfer credits as easily. Sometimes you can transfer from one national program to another national program you're able to transfer credits, but it gets kind of tricky because you have to do your research. So I remember when I was looking into these like private nursing schools, I was like so skeptical about it because I wanted to make sure that if I wanted to go to grad school, my credits were going to be accepted at um at another school to get my master's degree like i called the school i called like so many different places to try to get an answer and their answer was always it depends on the school so it depends on the school if you want to transfer credits it depends on the school if they will accept the credits so that is the issue with national accreditation is that you literally have to find a school that's going to accept those credits from that from that program versus if you were in a regionally accredited school, you probably wouldn't have that issue. But after doing some research, I did find a lot of other universities that do accept nationally accredited credits. And the thing is that here's the thing with nursing, like I think a lot of people get this confused with like uh, nursing schools because I know a lot of people that are doing nursing that eventually want to get their master's degree and become an NP or you know get their doctorate degree or whatever so a lot of people think okay I get my RN license and now I have to transfer my credits to get into an NP program that's not really how it works like once you get your license and you're a nurse you're a nurse you have your license and if you go on to do an NP program the requirements for the NP program is usually just to have a license as a registered nurse and to have a bachelor's degree so those credits like those nursing classes don't technically transfer into your master's program it's just your your license like your license is what matters so that's what i'm like a lot of people are like oh my god um you know if you graduate from like a private school like it doesn't uh, to me it doesn't really matter because like as long as you sit for your NCLEX you pass your NCLEX, you get your license. Your license is like your golden ticket, like pretty much. That's how I see it in my eyes. Once I have my, my nursing license, that's my golden ticket. And if I wanna go on to um, an NP program, all they want is to see that license. And you're not actually like transferring, I don't know if this makes sense. You're not actually transferring classes. You don't, you don't do that. Like, cause th they just wanna know that you're a nurse pretty much. Um, but it does depend on like the school so you have to do like so much research on different schools and and all of that stuff so but yes being at a regionally accredited um program is gonna give you it's gonna be a lot easier to go to grad school so a lot of people don't want to go to grad school a lot of people are just like i just want to get my rn and get my degree and be done which is great like you know good for you but eventually like in the future if you want to pursue you know further your education you have to look into these types of things and make sure that you're able to do that right so okay so we talked about regionally accredited which is like your all the big schools and then nationally accredited which is all of the private for-profit programs right that's the first tier and then the second tier is going to be the agency that is accrediting the school. So there's usually two. The one that's been around longer is called the Accreditation Commission for Education and Nursing. It covers any type of nursing degree from like practical nursing to associate's degree um, to BSN, everything, right? And then there's the CCNE. So the CCNE is called the Commission of Collegiate Nursing Education. The so CCNE is um, a little bit newer, but it's it's still very highly respected and it's very, very common. I've seen CCNE like on a lot of nursing programs and the CCNE only covers bachelor's degrees and master's degrees and they have different qualifications. So the whole point of like the agencies is so that they can make sure that these nursing programs 
are up to par and that they're meeting expectations. I went on the CCNE uh, website because um, my school is accredited by CCNE. So yeah, I'll let you guys know. Um, this, the program that I'm in is called Nightingale College. I know you guys always ask me questions about it. If you guys have questions and you guys want me to make a video, like if you have more questions, just um, leave leave me a comment or something and I'll, I'll either like reply to you or if I get a lot of questions, I'll just um, make a whole video, maybe like a Q&A or something. Um, but yeah, so it's Nightingale College. It's an online nursing school. Um, I do all of my didactic work online and I do clinical um like once a week i'm starting clinical at desert spring hospital everyone asks me that question too if i'm everybody asks me if i'm in clinical because last year because of covid i kept complaining like all over the place i was complaining on instagram i was complaining on youtube about not being able to do clinical because we did virtual clinical for like a whole year and I was so bummed and everyone kept asking me like, are you starting clinical? Are you starting clinical? And yes, I'm finally starting clinical um, in May, like in the middle of May, I'm gonna start at our local hospital, Desert Springs. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Maybe I'll make a video like vlogging. I'm not much of a vlogger. I kind of suck at vlogging, but I'll try <laughs> if you guys wanna see it. But anyways, I'm sorry, I got off topic. Um, so yeah, my school is nationally accredited because it is a for-profit school and it is um, the nursing program is accredited by the CCNE because I am in a bachelor's program. So since mine is accredited by CCNE, I went on their website to just kind of see like what the CCNE, like what do they require the program to have. Basically it says they look into program objectives, faculty qualifications, individual course content, program evaluation plans, student retention rate, student completion rate, NCLEX pass rate, catalog of the courses available to students and resources utilized in the program. So they kind of just like look at the whole program and say like, okay, is this up to par? Is this, how does this compare to the other nursing programs? Because the whole point of these agencies is to make sure that everything is equal across the board. So if like one student goes to this nursing program and another one goes to another nursing program, that they're getting the same quality of education. That is the point of the agencies, right? So, um, please make sure that your nursing school is accredited. Um, as long as you know that they're accredited under those agencies, then you're basically good to go. The national and the regional thing, like that's like a whole nother thing. Um, I mean, everyone has their opinion on it. Like some people would be like, oh my God, don't go to a nationally accredited school. Um, other people might be like, you still get your nursing degree. Pros and cons to both. Um, I do have another video that I made a while ago about about that maybe i'll link it below so you guys can check it out i go more into detail about like the price and the pros the cons all of that stuff but but yeah in this video i just kind of wanted to talk about like what like what the difference is of the accreditations because i know a lot of people have questions about that um so like mostly technical and vocational schools like i said are going to be nationally accredited and if you're trying to freaking go to like Harvard or something, or <laughs> if you're trying to like go to like a pre prestigious as university, then yeah, regionally accredited would probably be the best thing. So as long as you're covered by one of those two, you are good to go, girlfriend. And side note, if you're going to a nursing school that is not accredited at all, girl, <laughs> girl, you're in the danger zone. Um, I don't know. I've read that you could graduate from a nursing program that is not accredited and still sit for your NCLEX. And I've also read that if you graduate from a nursing program that's not accredited, you are not allowed to sit for your NCLEX. I guess it depends on the state that you live in. But girlfriend, I just would not take that chance. Um, I would definitely try to transfer somewhere that is accredited for sure. And you know it is because... Um, Y'all, you're not trying to do all that work for nothing. You're not trying to do all that work for nothing because nursing school is hard and it's a huge sacrifice and you don't want to um, end up getting screwed over. So, so yeah, I hope that cleared things up. I'm sorry if I was all over the place. Um, again, I'm sorry that I've been missing. I've, um, I'll try my best to upload more for you guys. If you guys have any questions, just leave them below. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for 
videos, anything that you guys like to see, please let me know. And I will definitely work on that for you guys. I love you guys so, 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 so much. God bless you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Love you. Bye.